Amici buonasera, eh, siamo agli inizi di queste prime interviste, una, la prima di una lunga serie appunto che sarà dedicata ai nostri connazionali in Australia. Questa prima puntata eh, abbiamo un ospite che viene proprio da quella terra, eh, ma però ha origini italiane, si chiama Vita Catalano. Buonasera Vita. Buonasera. Buonasera. Allora Vita, eh, tu sei nata in Australia, i tuoi genitori sono originari della Sicilia di Vizzini in provincia di Catania e mh, oltretutto hai avuto anche la fortuna di avere due genitori amanti dell'arte, no? cioè un papà eh, musicista, una mamma scrittrice è inevitabile che tu poi venissi contagiata no? da questa passione per l'arte. Ecco, e dopodiché ehm, tu nel, nel, nella, nel, nel, diciamo, eh, hai avuto la fortuna e l'idea di dedicarti al cinema come autrice, come eh, produttrice, ma anche come attrice. Ecco, come nasce questa idea del, del film e dei film? I've always had a passion for, for cinema, uh, you know, from a very young age. And, uh, and so my mother being a writer and my father being a drummer, they both worked in factories, so they did a big sacrifice as well. So my father used to be a drummer in the band and my mother used to work on a machine. Um, but she had the best, she always used to write, which was beautiful. So I guess um, it's in, in my blood, in my blood. And, uh, and I was a big, a big fan of the cinema and the theatre and any chance I got I used to be in uh, lots of school plays and dramas so it's no wonder that I, uh, I continued I continued this work. Oltre la passione per il cinema hai maturato anche una forte sensibilità verso i problemi sociali, i problemi della famiglia e, e quindi l'idea che hai sposato di dedicarti al bullismo, un fenomeno tremendo non solo in Australia ma anche in Italia ormai si è diffuso così tanto ecco, e tu hai fatto una precisa scelta proprio legata al cinema because I've got the opportunity to make films I thought sometimes uh, you know, writing it in a book it's probably not as effective as I've seen it visual on a screen so given that being a, uh, an acting teacher a drama teacher I, I, I teach children, teenagers and adults and unfortunately i would love to make actors out of all of them, but they do come to my class to learn the tools of being confident to confront the bully. So they do it on camera. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of children have got depression. A lot of teenagers have got depression. A lot of adults have taken their lives because they have been confronted by bullies and don't have any tools to, uh, to, to, to tackle the situation. So therefore, that is why I wrote the film Story of Jack. Story of Jack is fictitious but it's about a boy that is bullied from a very young age through to his adolescent years and uh, I've made the ending very impacting where he loses his life at the hands of a bully. So the message is uh, for teachers, for parents and for students. Okay. Eh, mi domando eh, il bullismo, ecco come nasce, come esplode questa rabbia da parte di alcuni ragazzi? Dov'è che si fallisce e, e quali sono le eventuali terapie per risolvere questo problema? With, uh, we, we, you know, we touch on the, on the victim, yes, but there is underlying problems with the bully. A bully, whether it is a male or a female, does not just bully. There is underlying uh, problems where there could be problems in the family. They, they do, people bully, kids bully because they want to be on top. They want to feel more superior than the victim. But there is problems in the home. That is what a bully is made of. We don't, we don't have intentions to go out there and bully people. There's got to be problems, underlying issues, whether it's jealousy, whether it's just, you know, it's called in Australia, tall poppy syndrome. It's trying to cut people down to make yourself feel more superior. So I guess uh, where I would say that it fails is in the home, the education in the home. And, uh, and you know, and if you don't educate your children from a very young age, this is where the problem arises. Ecco. Eh, anche le istituzioni australiane hanno molto apprezzato questo tuo impegno su questo tema ecco, credo che sia un motivo di orgoglio per te 
Look, I wish it was a film about uh, something happy. It's unfortunately a film about a tragedy. And so I didn't realise, I, I wrote this film on on uh, just little bits of paper whilst I was in hospital being treated for cancer, but I wanted to have it produced, so I self-funded it. I did not uh, contact the, the government. I thought, no, I will pay for the film and I will donate it. So when I came out of hospital, I put the, the film together. I had no idea how big the film would would uh, would get. I I had no idea. It was screened on on television and and, and I've had many radio interviews as well. So uh, at least I know that this film will uh, not be useful anymore when bullying stops. Il problema che amplifica il bullismo naturalmente sono eh, i social media. Yes. E la televisione anche con certi film ecco si dovrebbe intervenire a livello anche legislativo su questo su questo tema social media is a very big problem because uh, you know uh, with let's say for for example uh, facebook you know would you invite if you have a thousand friends would you invite a thousand friends into your home unfortunately a lot of people do and a lot of people tend to to uh, focus on the negative and not the positive so social media is a very big problem but before the social media bullying has always been around and i guess uh I'm very blessed in my home that my parents educated us that we should never ever put people down and always uh, look at uh, the positive things in life. But unfortunately, there's a lot of kids that are not are not brought up like that, you know. And sometimes it's it it some children don't have mothers and fathers, may and and so they they seek they seek. Uh, I how, how can I say? It's a cry for help. Uh, that's what I think a bully is in, internally. They're very very um, distressed and sad as well. Ecco, la famiglia è sicuramente molto importante no? nella gestione di questo problema. Eh, tu hai creato anche un'associazione, appunto lo dicevi, Bian Blue, ecco, eh, che è stata anche molto eh, apprezzata anche qui in Italia dalla Lega dei diritti dell'uomo. Ecco, una parola su questo. When I produced Story Jack, I went to an organization named Beyond Blue and Beyond Blue is affi affiliated with uh, depression and anxiety and, uh, you know, to try and reduce the stigma around depression and anxiety. I had no idea that uh, they wanted me to be a part of Beyond Blue and so I do take, uh, sorry, give up my time to, uh, to go out there and speak to people in relation to uh, depression and anxiety. This all ties in with the film. You know, bullying leads to a depression, may lead to anxiety, may lead to suicide. So I guess the 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 film is all under the one umbrella, you know, with, with, with the depression and anxiety, with all these things. So I guess I'm here to bring it to a stop. Um, dunque, Vita, torniamo per un attimo al tuo ruolo di donna di cinema. Se ho letto bene, cioè, hai un progetto in mente eh, che si chiama La Maestra e che in parte credo che sia autobiografico questo, questo progetto perché eh, accarezza un po' la, la tua esperienza di eh, aver scoperto da poco l'Italia, no? E ce ne vuoi parlare? La Maestra uh, came along in 2016 after I had, I had left Sicily with a pain in my heart because I went to Sicily, but I had no relatives. I, my mother is gone, my father has gone, my, my, my grandparents. So I did everything blindly. Instinctively, I walked down the cobblestones to try and find where my, my, my parents lived. But uh, I decided to write a film, some of it autobiographical, some of it not. But I, I based it on a school teacher that uh, has a bit of an unfortunate life in Australia. And uh, so she goes to Italy to find herself. And uh, instead of, uh, of, of teaching English, she, she brings herself to, 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 uh, to teach the children Sicilian, uh, something that she knows very well. It's, 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 a, it's a, f a story of love. It's a story of, uh, of, of hope. And, um, and, um, and, 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 and there's a bit of comedy in it as well. All I want now is to find somebody that would be interested in picking up the story as well. L'Italia quindi è nel tuo cuore e nella tua testa, no? Perché è nel tuo sangue naturalmente e credo che tu non, non mai sei diventata, cioè non puoi fare a meno di tornare in Italia periodicamente. For me, Italia, Italia is my, well, Italy is my second home. 
Uh, maybe I should make it my first home because when I come here, I feel that I'm home. I feel that I feel uh, comfortable in my skin and uh, and when I leave and I go back to Australia to my family, there's a want for me to come back. So, yes, it's in my veins. Like they say, il sangue parla. Bene, vi devo ringrazio molto. Buona fortuna per i tuoi progetti. Grazie molto. Mi piace i appreciate that you have interviewed me today. It's been a, 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 a pleasure and, uh, and, and, and I you know, look forward to bigger, bigger things in the future. Bene. Okay, grazie. Spero la prossima. Yes. Okay, bye bye.